After winning a seventh straight PAC championship in 2013, the Thomas More Saints and head coach Jeff Hands knew it would be tough to replace the PAC Player of the Year, Allison Long. With only two starters slated to return for this season, the perennial powers of the PAC received a major lift in August when Division I standout Sydney Moss announced she was transferring from Florida to Thomas More. After spending her freshman season with the Gators, Moss says she made her decision to be closer to her family. It was close to home. Um, I grew up, well, didn't grow up. I lived here for like seven years over by Ryle, which is about 20 minutes away from here. Um, and then my grandma is about two and a half hours away from here, and I had a lot of family friends and stuff around here, and I loved the area. I mean, I was here since middle school, so I knew I kind of wanted to come back closer. I didn't want to be right on top of, you know, my family in West Virginia, but I didn't want to be, you know, five hours away or whatever. And then um, I didn't want to go to another D1 um, just because I didn't want to have to sit out a year. And then on top of that, I thought it was just too much. And With Moss in the fold and the opening day of basketball season nearing, Hans received more good news when two-time All-PAC first team selection Katie Kitchen decided to return for another season. The senior guard had one more year of eligibility, but was planning on calling it quits after her junior season because of chronic knee problems caused by two ACL injuries. But with fresh legs and the itch to return to the floor, Kitchen reconsidered. I don't know. There was a lot of different factors that played in, but I, I would say the biggest was uh, this summer I was still really involved with the girls and I was helping with the conditioning and still playing at some of the open gyms and uh, I just couldn't live with myself knowing I had one more year of eligibility to play. So I just decided, kind of last minute, classes had already started, but I came in and talked to Coach and that pretty much sealed the deal. The addition of Moss and the return of Kitchen has been a boon for the Thomas More Saints, complementing a roster that Hans considers his deepest yet. Moss leads the nation in scoring, averaging 26 points per game, but it's her effect on her teammates that perhaps makes Moss most valuable. She's a great player to play with. Uh, Obviously, she's going to get buckets, she's going to get rebounds, she's going to get steals. But the great thing about Moss is that she facilitates to everybody else. She gets everybody else involved and makes everybody else a better player. So it's not just Cindy Moss, it's the five on the floor that she makes a better team. So she's great to play with. Um, she's been a big difference, you know, because she is very talented. Uh, but she's a, a talented player that also makes everybody else around her better. You know, you have. You have good players that can, they'll do what they're supposed to do and, and not get other people involved. She is very unselfish. Um, you know, I think she's probably third on our team in assists right now behind Devin and, and Sydney Wayne Scott. Uh, she might be fourth, but uh, she's right there. She's more of a pass first and then she'll score when she has to and, you know, she'll defend when she needs to and, and, do, and do those things. And it just, um, you know, she fits in with everybody because uh, of the familiarity with, with our players of being local and playing AU with them. You know, it's just, um, it's been a good fit for her and, and for us. The daughter of a former NFL receiver and single season record holder, Sydney Moss has been determined to shed the label of being Randy Moss's daughter. She began to pave her own way in athletics at Boone County High School, where she earned countless accolades, including the 2012 Associated Press Kentucky Player of the Year Award. Leaving Boone County as one of the most decorated high school players in the country, Moss took her talents to Gainesville, Florida to play ball with the Gators. Making an instant impact, Moss was named to the All-SEC freshman team and led the Gators to the Final Four of the WNIT tournament, also earning All-Tournament team laurels. Um, individually, it was really fun. You know, I got to play against different um, players and different teams and, you know, see their defense and stuff like that. And then as a team, I thought it was, went really well. I mean, yeah, we were in the WNITs, but we went to the Final Four. So, I mean, I think that's every team's dream to at least make it to a Final Four, whether it's, you know, in WNIT or the NCAA tournament. Despite a successful freshman season at Florida, Moss wanted to return to Kentucky to be closer to home. Transferring to a college with smaller classrooms and a basketball team with a standard for success made Thomas Moore the perfect fit. Um, like right away. I mean, I played against some of them, and I, me and Sydney Wayne Scott were actually friends. We've been friends since like seventh grade, so I knew her, and then uh, I mean, I mean, I knew like half the team coming in here. So uh, the first, you know. Uh, pickup that we had over, like right when school started, I felt right at home. 
For Katie Kitchen, there were a number of factors that led to her return this season. Two serious knee injuries didn't take the fire out of Kitchen, but the physical pain was taking its toll and influenced the talented guard to make her junior season her last. However, while training for a half marathon over the summer, Kitchen realized that her knees were as strong as ever. I was training for a half marathon over the summer, and I was like, I feel great. Like, I could play another year, and then I just talked to Coach, and he helped me through everything, and I was ready to go. She tore her uh, second ACL February of 2012, you know, and she was released and playing six months later, seven months later. You know, you, really, you're not going to get over that thing until about a full year. Um, so she had that year, and then when she was training this past summer, now she's starting to get healthy. So now we're a little bit more time away from that surgery date, and, and um, it's just she's feeling good, and, and she's playing well because she knows what to expect. She knows how, how her body can handle things now. I mean, and, and there's not a whole lot of pressure. I mean, she doesn't feel that pressure to try to prove to everybody that she's back like she did last season. You know, everybody knows that she's there. She was still first team again last year as a junior, I guess you could call her. And, um, you know, she's having a, a very good senior season for us. Like Kitchen, forward Jenny Burgoyne is fully healthy and the third leading scorer in the conference with 16 points per game. Burgoyne struggled through a shoulder injury her freshman season, but now 100% the talented junior is having a breakout year. She had the typical ankle sprains and, you know, those type of things, but her shoulder is a lot better than what it was last year at this time because she's right now about a year and a half, two years removed from the surgery, so she's getting back full go with that, with that shoulder, and, uh, you know, it, it plays a big part. Ranked sixth or seventh in the country, according to various national polls, there's a lot of hype surrounding the undefeated Saints. But Coach Jeff Hands is not letting his team get caught up in the headlines. I know there's people around Thomas Moore, around the community, that talk about it, and, and, and it's great to have. It's, it's a great piece to talk about, but we've never been there. We've never been past Sweet 16, okay? So we, we first of all, have to handle a very tough, PAC schedule, um, first of all, conference tournament to get to, to that NCAA. And then we need to, we have to take it one game at a time and, and see how far we can go. And how far can the Saints go? Well, the sky might be the limit. I believe in this team so much. Uh, we all believe in each other. Coach believes in us. We believe in Coach. So we take it game by game. Uh, can't look ahead. PAC first. Um, set us up for what's to come and take it. We have to stay humble with it all. Um, so we'll see. We say it's a destination. It's not a goal. So do what we have to do and hopefully we'll get there.